Uh, with the vagaries of YouTube, it, it, it's odd sometimes how all of a sudden you'll get a lot of comments on some video that could have been done years ago, but evidently the algorithm lines that one up, so all of a sudden you start getting comments. Well, it was kind of that way with this. Uh, all of a sudden I had quite a few comments about this stovepipe device that goes in to reclaim the waste heat. Well, <laughs> you know, I, somebody, I think it was like three years ago when I made it, and I've used it ever since, now I'm making another one. And somebody asked, well, could you do an update on the one? Well, really, there's nothing to really update. I'm still using it. I mean, they just sit there and work. But it is funny to look in the comments. Uh, some of the nonsensical sort of comments. You know, people are definitely afraid of something like that. You know, anything that they don't understand. You know, like, oh, it's going to build up creosote. Well, it doesn't. You know, if you aren't burning wet pine or something, you know, it isn't going to. I take it down once a year, you know, and just pound the creosote out of it. They want people, oh, can you run a chimney brush to it? Can you still, well, no. <laughs> not not straight up and down. That ain't going to happen. You know, it's got corners it's got to make. So, but it's very easy to disassemble. I mean, they're just held together with screws. But it's funny, you know, people uh, don't understand uh, burning wood. I mean, there's a lot of people, I guess, that are, you know, they burn wood as a kind of a auxiliary sort of setup. Well, I do nothing but heat with wood. I understand how to burn wood. It's not a big deal, but to some people, it's a mystery. But this isn't some new invention of mine. I mean, this is a time-tested thing. The system has been around for a hell of a long time. You just don't see it that often anymore. But it does work very well. Uh, there's nothing to really go wrong with it, you know. But this is what, you know, I'm still using the other one. This is, I got another stove in a different building. I thought, well, I'll start getting parts together to build another one. And that's what this is. You know, my last parts came in today. So I'm going to slap it together. But, you know, there is no mystery to it. There is no magic to it. It's just a, a simple arrangement of stovepipes. Like somebody said, oh, it'll restrict the the draft too much. Well, no, you've actually got more volume. You know, it's it's just having to make two corners on each side, but they're very gradual corners. It isn't going to restrict the, the flow at all. You know, it's just that you're adding surface area to it. But it's funny, like I say, comments can be weird sometimes, and it can be good sometimes. Sometimes they're just, uh, people don't know what they're talking about. The one thing I wish, so this is that transgender deal that you need to, because you end up with two females, you need the double male. But I wish, years ago, I was at an, uh, it was a, a hardware store that was closing, an old, you know, small town hardware store. And so I used to come without crimps on it. And they bring in, and they could crimp them. They had a tool, went on there, had the serrations, you just crank it around, it'd be crimped. Not enough crimp, tighten her down, crank her again. You know, it, it was a very simple tool. And when he was going out of business, he had that thing, and I wish I would have bought it. Because sometimes it can be a battle. You know, depending on the pipe, I mean, sometimes they just really aren't crimped quite enough. And you can really fight with them. Well, if you just add a little, little more crimp, and I sometimes take a needle those pliers and I have to do that. But these are all, again, you know, you can go back to the original video. And I, like I said, I did an update on it once already. Yeah, nothing changed. I don't know why I would have to update it again. But I've got all the part numbers because they're in it. It's all the same. You know, it's all the Imperial parts and the little Imperial self-tapping sheet metal screws that are made to hold it together. But like I say, I, I still use the other one. This is one I was just making for another application.
So I just watched, and over the last six months, I've been gradually buying up pieces. Whenever I get a good deal on a part that I know I need for it, I buy them. So I've got this one set up. I don't even know, you know, we're to the end of winter kind of now. I don't even know that I'll install it, but I'll have one ready to go for next year. But no big mystery and not a big threat to your security. It doesn't burn your house down. Just quietly sits there and does the job it's supposed to do. And that has, has been doing for, like I say, over a hundred years. You know, it's not some wild new invention. Which, like, some of the best things are. The things that have been around forever. I always go with that. If it ain't been around a hundred years, it probably ain't worth having.